Number 74. Milk is sold by the liter in many countries. What is the volume of exactly one half gallon of milk in liters? Okay, so the first thing is, is that when you're converting, try not to use fractions. I see that I have one over two here, so I'm just going to quickly change this into a decimal because it's just easier to work with decimals. I know a lot of students don't like to use fractions, so one half is just, if you put that into the calculator, it's just 0.5, or if you knew that, that's fine. So I know that now I have 0.5 gallon. I know I have 0.5 gallons, and I'm looking for the volume in liters. So I'm just trying to go to big L. Now, just know that you're dividing here, so you should have only one sig fig. One divided by two, you have one sig fig up at the top, you got one sig fig on the bottom, so your answer should have only one sig fig here. The zero in the front does not count because it's a leading zero. Leading zeros never count for sig figs. All right, next I'm going to write my roadmap. Roadmap. We're starting off with 0 0.5 gallons, and we want to go to liters. Do I know a direct conversion between gallons and liters? If we look at our common conversion factors chart over here for volume, because we should know that liters is a volume by now, nowhere in here is there anything about liters, right? If I look at these four conversions, that was a great circle. <laughs> um, there's no gallons here, which tells us one thing, that your teacher or your professor probably wants you to memorize the conversions for gallons. I'm just going to throw two of them out here because I think you guys should memorize both of them. Just know that one quart equals 32 ounces and four quarts is equal to one gallon. Good, uh, good conversions to memorize just for, you know, good use in the, in the kitchen if you're cooking or baking or whatever. It's always good to know those. Good, good party starters too. But anyway, so now I have my gallon to quart conversion. I know that four quarts equal one gallon. So I can go from gallons to quarts. And then I can go from quarts to liters. Because if you look at either the first conversion here or the second conversion here, it's from liters to quarts or quarts to liters. So I know a direct conversion for that. So I'm going to label this as my first conversion and this one as my second conversion. So it's a two-step process. But still, with conversions, you always got to start with what you're given, and this is what you're given. So 0 0.5 gallons. With any conversions, you always multiply by that ratio, and you throw the unit that you don't want on the opposite side. So I'm just going to say GAL goes on the bottom, short for gallon. And in this case, we got to go to quarts. So quart would go up on the top. Now this is the conversion you got to memorize, four quarts equal one gallon. So the one goes with the gallon, so the one goes on the bottom. Four quarts goes up on top, and gallons cancel. Now, you can get the answer for your first step, but I like to work until the question is done. You guys should get into the habit of doing that. It's quicker, it's easier, it will save you time on your quizzes and tests. So I'm just going to make my next ratio. So I'm going to times by a ratio, and now I don't want quarts anymore, so that goes on the bottom, on the other side, in this case the, the denominator, and liters would go on the top, because this was our first conversion, this is our second one, and the second one I want to get to liters. Now it does not matter whether you use the first conversion or the second one, let's use the first one, because it's, it's literally the one on top, doesn't matter. 1 liter equals 1.0567 quarts. So the 1 has to go with the liter, so that goes on the top. This number goes with the quarts, so 1.0567 quarts. And the unit quarts will cancel. And now we just do the math. So multiply the numerators to simplify to get one numerator, so 0.5 times 4 times 1. And then you will simplify your denominators and then do the math to get your actual number. So for the first one, 0.5 times 4 times 1 in the calculator, or if you know that, is just 2. So 2 divided by 1 times 1.0567 is 1.0567. 
And now we just have to do the math. So 2 divided by 1.0567 is a long trailing decimal. So I'll just say 1.89268. But we need to give the correct sig figs. So in this case, we started with only one sig fig, right? 0.5, there was only one sig fig here. And with conversions, you only give the sig figs for your given. You don't give any sig figs for any conversion factors because those are exact numbers. So they do not count when you're doing your significant figures. So this answer should only have one sig fig. So I'm going to keep the one, and the next number will tell me if I have to round. And 8 is greater than 5, 5 or greater, so it should turn into a 2. So it should be 2 liters because liter was the last remaining unit. So that's it. So technically, one half gallon is equivalent to two liters. But they're equivalent in the amount of volume that you have. You're just saying a different number. So the answer would be the two liters. Awesome job, guys. So that one was this one. Wasn't too bad. If this helped you at all, let us know. Give us a comment. And like this video if you can. That would help us out a lot. And I thank you for that. Now, if you got the playlist going, I'll probably see you in five seconds, right? I'll see you for number 75. But anyway, have an awesome day. I'll see you guys later.